Hey y'all, you ready to cancel your subscription? I really hope so because you have to cancel your subscription to this white male supremacy patriarchal system in order for you to even come close to feel what I'm trying to tell you today or tonight. Um, because I'm talking about the system, and I know some of y'all new Negroes love you the system. Tap dancing, sambo, coonified, Uncle Tom, old, you know, Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> Negroes love you this system. Yes, we'll defend it to the death of you. Then we've got a lot of you passive Negroes out there, a lot of you passive black folks who, you know, would like something different. It'd be nice, but I'm too afraid to step away from the system to do anything about it, or I'll just wait until the next Negro come along and give me a solution and maybe I'll do what they do. Well, we can't have that no more. We can't have it. So as promised on my Instagram, J Y L Y N N one, for um anybody who is watching my YouTube videos without watching my uh, without following me on Instagram, again that's J Y L Y two N, the number one. Um. And yes, it is a pro black page, which is why it's officially private now, because I'm tired of these trolling, uh, agent <laughs> types on my page annoying me and disrupting my people so yeah um only black people can follow me and that's how I feel except for my best friend Sandra who is Hispanic so yeah anywho aside from that uh sorry I even, even went off that but the point of the matter is I promise on my Instagram that I was going to propose a couple of questions. We have a couple of answers. So the first question, bear with me now, is I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer. Let's get personal. I feel like y'all so far away. Love my brothers and sisters. I'm gonna keep it close. The first question is what would happen if 45 40 45 of every black man, woman and juvenile in the prison systems decided to stop working. I'll wait. Now, what would happen if every black man and woman or any black working person um, who does not work for a black person decided, let's say, let's say 52 percent of them decided not to go to work? Not to go to work for any person who wasn't black. Just said, we're not going to work no more. 52% in America. Okay. What would happen if, I'm going to throw a number out there, if 60% uh, of black youth old enough in any age to go to school, whether it be through pre K, all the way to university. 60% of us decide to stop going to these institutions. What would happen? What would happen? Um, this system would crumble. They send us to their schools so they can start colonizing our minds so they can prepare us to be better wage slaves by working for them or better new slaves by going to prison and working for them. This system only su survives. I'm going to give you a secret here. This, this is going to just mind blown. I promise you. And it's like no point in me saying it because ain't nobody hearing me. Ain't nobody going to start hearing me until we start putting in action. But this system only works with our, and by our, I mean African people. I mean people with African blood. I mean black people. Participation. It only functions with our unified participation. We are only slaves because we allow ourselves to be. We choose to participate in the system. Do you understand that? Do you understand literally the only thing we have to do to be free is to not participate in the system? And yeah, I make it sound real simple, but it is. 
the concept itself, the, the, even the actions itself, is all that simple. It's just the fact that we are still so caught up in here. We're like that donkey who has a small rope attached to a, a plastic chair that thinks it can't move because it's been so conditioned to think that when it's tied to anything, it's not strong enough to, to leave. That's 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 what that's who we are. We're the donkeys. We we acting like we tied to a huge willow tree to where if we tried to pull away that thing ain't budging, but we're tied to plastic chairs. <laughs> and we can drag that shit. <laughs> no problem. We just don't even know it, that's all. Because we're stuck up here. Our liberation is simply as as sis is simply as simple as not subscribing to the system. If we can all unify on that concept, if 60% of us, hell, uh, in all three aspects, because we have the new slave with the prison system, we have the wage slave with the economic system and the capitalistic system, and we have the mental slave with the education system. And I'm not even going to get started on the spiritual slave with... Uh, with with religion, but uh, the, even those first three things, if we even find on those first three things, if instead of just uh, forty five percent of prisoners stop working, black prisoners stop working, if forty five percent of black people in America, period, um, forty five percent of people in the prisons, forty five percent of the people who go to public um, to go to any of their institutions. Um, education institutions of 45% of people who work for them, but 45% of the African population in America decided to not participate in any of those systems. This system will shatter into a million smithereens because it only works so long as we work. It is built off of and sustained off of our systematic oppression, racism, and, and, and enslavement. That's the only way this society works. So if we decide to stop being slaves, it's not going to work no more. Period. We are the magic piece. You know, we, we've gotten so attached to the system. We've been allowed ourselves to be lied to. You know, and I say be lied to because... Oh, what is scared me? Jay, I'm going to have to call you right back in like five minutes because I'm in the middle of posting a YouTube video. All right, five. All right. Any whom, um, yeah, I mean, if you look at the word believe, B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. If you want to say believe, B-E-L-I-E-V-E-S. The lies, <laughs> you know, believe the lies. They, we we are so caught up in this belief system that we're they don't even have to condition us no more. We condition ourselves and we condition our offspring and all that. So with that being said, it is that simple, y'all. We gotta cancel our subscriptions. We gotta start looking into things that are by us and for us because that's the only way we will be liberated. Is if we. Honestly, wake up, unify, and do for self. And people worry about, oh, well, if I still working for the way, man, how am I going to get money? The fact that they even got us to believe in the value of money is ridiculous. When money only has value because we say so. Everything only has value because we say so. Black people, the world is sitting around waiting for us to nod our head yes to one thing and no to another so they can capitalize off of it. We are the standard. We are the value. Nothing has value unless African people, and I mean continental Africans as well as the African diaspora, nothing has value unless we validate it. And not to sound no type of way or nothing, but especially if Africans in America validate it. Money only has value because the thing that they buy with money is slaves, and slaves produce work and the value of the money is based off of the production that comes from it. <laughs> you know, we're worried about how we're going to get money and it's like money doesn't even have value. 
It only has value because of the work you put in behind it to give it value. If you realize that you don't need to end this, like I stay broke, <laughs> I have me long reason times, but I don't even stress about money because it comes eventually. However, with this with this library, y'all need to stop playing to help your girl because at the moment I cannot afford to get a bunch of books. Uh, I'm like two seconds from spending my food money that I saved up for the rest of the semester to get a whole bunch more books because the books they require you to get to attend this bullshit university have been expensive, more expensive than they should have been this semester, which meant that I wasn't able to get as many for my people as I wanted to. But it's a it's a unified responsibility. I am a teacher. I get the materials I need to teach our people, but I'm teaching y'all kids. I'm teaching y'all. So y'all gotta help out with that stuff. We need to get that community mindset back. But aside from that, you know, GoFundMe link in link in description to the GoFundMe. Um we gotta be subscribed, y'all. It's 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 down there that simple. And I, I really wish you could, and I just, we got to let this system go. It's not by us. It's not for us. In fact, it is, all, it's only survival depends on our validation of it. But on that note, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, J-Y-L-Y, two N's, number one. Um. Again, J Y L Y N N number one. Uh, it is private, so you gotta wait till you're accepted. But more updates and everything coming from there. And you know, uh, for y'all with no attention spans, I got some quick pace knowledge coming at you from there as well. Plenty of books that we must read. Um, I'll post in the description as well as I'll make another video post about books that we have to read as people by us, for us, with African, uh, Afrocentric or truth-centered, as I like to say, uh, research, knowledge, and information, etc. Excuse me. At the end of the day, I love y'all, my black people. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm burping. Black love, black pride, black power. May the force be with you, all that good kind of stuff. And always remember to consistently cancel your subscription it's a mental thing first stop subscribing to your own slavery don't renew your subscription if you have to be subscribed and I know it's hard I know it's hard because a couple times I mean the more I know the harder it is and there's some times where it's just like it would be so much easier if I just ate whatever and was just a good girl and acted like they could teach me something in class and didn't ask the wrong questions and just blended into society again. It'd be so easy. But I got a real complex and it's impossible for me not to be real with myself. It's hard for me not to be real with anybody else, but it's especially impossible for me not to be real with myself. And with that being said, I can't do it. You may try it for a minute. But you can't unknow what you know. You got to cancel your subscriptions. I promise you, there's better on the other side. It is better on the other side. And especially when all of our people get there. But I'm rambling now, so I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. And until next time.